Hey ladies and lurkers, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today's video is all about the very important feminine topic of maintenance. And it is also about the very painful consequences of being in a low maintenance to no maintenance dynamic and about the dangers of having a low maintenance mindset and maintenance or the maintenance dynamic because it is a relationship dynamic, is a topic that most women are taught to overlook or to full out neglect when it comes to our uh, romantic relationships, particularly with black women who are socially engineered to avoid the topic of maintenance out of shame when it comes to relationships altogether. Now, maintenance is also a very uh, triggering subject for men uh, who aren't providers and for women who are holding on to a, a very deeply embedded poverty mindset because these are the types of people who benefit the most when women are engineered to lowball themselves and to keep themselves in struggle so what is maintenance and what does it mean to be maintained because we are always talking about how to dress more feminine and how to speak more feminine and how to have a more feminine presentation. But beyond the surface, we are never taught about maintenance or the idea of being maintained or being taken care of by a man. And the maintenance dynamic, uh, ladies and lurkers, are the levels, okay? These are levels by which a man can impress you. And maintenance is how a man invests in you. And maintenance is how a woman can completely relax in her feminine. And the higher the maintenance, the more a woman can relax in her feminine. And the lower the maintenance, the more a woman is inclined to be in her masculine and her masculine energy. And maintenance is how a woman can become a stay-at-home wife and or mother if that is her goal and if a woman cannot be maintained on a level that is based on a foundation of mutual respect where he can respect her feminine and where she can respect his masculine uh, that is a recipe for relationship disaster because a woman cannot respect a man that she has to help or finance which is why the topic of understanding maintenance is so important because women are not built for the long term and let me say this for the hard of hearing in the back uh, women are not built nor are they wired for the long term to take care of men but it is always in a man's wiring to take care of a woman and it will always be that way and for the men who are lurking who resist their wiring to provide uh, those are the men who typically have the worst luck in life because they are committed to working against their masculine wiring and their masculine nature. And these are the men who end up becoming uh, paupers and beggars and vagabonds and dusties and con men. And these are the men who live very, very embittered and sour and embarrassing uh, private lives that are a hot mess. So to start, uh, maintenance by definition is the mental, the emotional, and the physical, and the financial established standards by which we give to ourselves and the standard by which we allow other people to treat us. And the no maintenance woman, this is why it's so dangerous, which is what this video is about, is the woman who has very limited to non-existent standards for herself and for her expectations of men. And as a consequence, they are usually the women who have never been provided for by a man in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And some of you will be triggered by what I'm about to say, but the number one sign of a no maintenance woman are the women who are very critical, easily annoyed or angered in the presence of a woman who puts herself on a pedestal or a woman who requires maintenance or a woman who is experiencing a healthy level of maintenance in her marriage or in her romantic relationships. The no maintenance woman is usually the biggest hater of other women because her needs are not being met on a financial level 
by her man. And basically the no maintenance woman is not with a provider or a protector. And the low maintenance woman is usually uh, caught up in a never ending loop of giving without receiving. Uh, the idea of maintenance is where a lot of the uh, jealousy and envy issues tend to rear their ugly heads from women who aren't being provided for. And with the no maintenance woman, she is the woman who is considered easy pickings. Remember ladies, men by nature are hunters and she is perceived by men and low value men as low hanging fruit. And for those of you who don't know what low hanging fruit is, it is the fruit that hangs off of a tree that is the easiest to pick and as quiet as kept. The no maintenance woman is also the hashtag no frills, plain Jane woman who low value men often use and tout in a Jedi mind trick kind of way to shame other women out of putting themselves on a pedestal. The no maintenance woman is usually a woman who struggles with issues of self-worth and self-confidence and she usually possesses very little to non-existent levels of self-esteem. Needless to say, uh, many women are no maintenance women and we experience them every day and everywhere. Uh, no maintenance women are on social media, bullying other women and sharing uh, low value ride or die memes. They are at our jobs. They are in our places of worship. They are also in our families and they are usually the women who are inclined to inoculate their daughters, okay, and their sons with low self-esteem, which creates the continued blueprint of generational curses for both men and women and particularly black women uh, who have been socially engineered to have low expectations of men. Uh, the no maintenance woman uh, can be our mothers, our sisters, our in-laws, and they are usually women who are very easy to spot as they are the women who mule very hard for men and they generally invest very little in their outer appearance and they are also uh, the women who are inclined to encourage other women to lowball themselves to be invisible and insignificant and unfeminine. Uh, no maintenance women are often filled with exhaustion and with humiliation and embarrassment and more importantly, shame, uh, which is a very uh, powerful toxic emotion that keeps women in a recycled and a rehashed state of victimhood and in a trance of stuckness and powerlessness. Uh, when a woman is a no maintenance woman, she is more than likely a woman who is afraid to take risks and she is usually afraid to step into the fullness of her femininity because she has been socially engineered to have a downtrodden mindset and she has been conditioned to only focus on struggle and strife. But ladies, maintenance is something to take into a serious, serious consideration when you are seeking to date or marry, especially if your standards are hypergamous. And too many women uh, treat themselves as low hanging fruit because they were never taught to comprehend the basic standards of maintenance. So I won't go too deep into the specifics of maintenance, but there are typically three levels. There is the uh, no maintenance to low maintenance dynamic, where a woman usually receives nothing and where a woman is usually the giver and the provider in her relationship. Then there's the low maintenance dynamic where a woman gives very little to nothing to herself and is typically with a man who does not have the means to provide in a consistent and substantial way. And then there's the mid maintenance dynamic. This is where uh, bills and finances and or household expenses are split 50 50 or 70 30 or 80 20. And this is often the situation where a woman is helping to build a man's savings so that he can ultimately dump you to get the woman that he truly wants. And then there is the gold standard of the high maintenance dynamic where a man is paying all bills and is providing without a flip attitude or insecurity because he knows that it is his job to provide. And that is the high level, not eye level hypergamous standard that all women should aspire to, which is why you need to subscribe to this channel. Now the phrase high maintenance 
has certainly been used to shame women out of goodness, particularly with black women who have wholesale been taught to feel guilty and unworthy of receiving. And many of the women who are subscribed and who are listening to this channel uh, grew up in families where they were taught and conditioned to believe that receiving was something to be ashamed of. But the truth is, ladies, and I want you to listen carefully, is that a man should always be ashamed of not providing, but a woman should never, ever be ashamed of receiving. A hypergamous woman should always be high maintenance as a standard because a relationship without maintenance will come with a lot of L's. So that's all that I have to say on this for now. Hypergamous women are not afraid nor are they ashamed to admit and to require maintenance. And a no maintenance woman's number one goal moving forward is to stop treating herself like a bargain and to stop giving yourself away for free 99. So now it's your turn. Have you ever lowballed yourself to make a broke man happy? Have you ever jumped into a relationship without ever, ever thinking about maintenance? Uh, share your stories about being maintained and not being maintained below and stay tuned for more hypergamous videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and you lurkers in the next one.